In times of Corona, a mask may help to protect people around you. With easy, attainable materials, you will be able to build a mask for yourself. It starts with two brackets that may come out of your own 3D printer or you let someone else print them for you. The print should be done in ABS because the parts need to be elastic. In addition to the brackets, you're going to need two household rubber bands with an approximate length of 20 centimeters. The rubber bands allow for the mask to be attached to our head and they go with the also 3D printed closing bracket. For folding the actual filter of the mask, we're going to need a cardboard positioning help of 30 by 7.5 centimeters. We start by inserting the rubber bands into the respective holding patterns of the brackets. We pull tight and repeat the same process for the other side. We then tear off one sheet of kitchen paper and position it under our folding assistant. Make sure that the cardboard matches the openings of the two brackets and place it on the paper towel in a perfectly centered position. To make sure that the filter of the self-generated mask closes tightly with the curve of our nose and chin, we will need to fold the top and the bottom of the paper with multiple creases. We start by folding the upper half of the paper towel with a seam of approximately 2 cm width. We afterwards repeat the fold of the seam and then guide the paper towel along the edge of our folding assistant. We then guide the paper back up so the upper seam is laying in perfect parallel position to the folding assistant. Apply pressure with your fingers so the fold can keep its shape. We then turn the folding help 180 degrees and repeat the folding process for the lower half of the paper towel. Having done that, the central filter piece of our paper mask is already finished. We now turn the paper towel so the closed side is facing us and start inserting it into the holding mechanism of the brackets. We therefore insert the folded paper into the cutout of the bracket and make sure that it goes through for an approximate length of 2 cm. We now guide the paper back through the clamping mechanism and lock it by moving the upper bar from over the clamping bracket to under the clamping bracket. Having finished this on both sides of the mask, the mask is nearly completed. The last component missing is the 3D printed locking mechanism that allows for clamping the two rubber bands behind your head. You may now put on the mask. Make sure it's centered between nose and chin. The folded creases at the bottom and top section of the paper easily open up and allow for closing the mask around your nose and chin. With the following easy trick you may even enhance the tightness with which the mask will fit your face. With an elastic wire band like the ones that for example are locking bread packages and a couple of folds you may enhance the mask with an additional inner reinforcement. This folded in elastic band will make sure that the mask will fit much better around your nose and therefore the mask will deliver better protection. All components of this mask are easily attainable. The patterns and the respective 3D model data can be downloaded via the URL in the video or the video description. The best part about this mask is that by using paper towels you can refresh it as many times as you like. Please stay healthy.